What is up, everybody? How are you guys doing? I'm finally got the opportunity to make a video I've been waiting to make for a very long time. I'm going to the golf course today. Um, I bought a new golf ball that I've never tried before, so we're gonna look into that a little bit. And uh, it's actually a very expensive golf ball. We're going to Fairways of Canton today, which is my the course closest to my house. So we're gonna go there and we're gonna, like I said, Try out this new golf ball I got. All right, we gotta go out this way, out of the garage, because I don't have my keys to lock my front door because my, all my keys are in my truck, so I gotta open this door. Hold your ears, this thing's loud. Ow. If you're using headphones, I'm sorry. All right, we're off. All right, so we made it to the golf course and there's not a whole lot of people here. I was expecting, I guess I was expecting it to be more busy than it is. Time of year, this is as good a day as it gets to play golf. So I was expecting a whole lot more people here. So, yeah. All right, so we got checked in and uh, we're actually gonna hit some range balls for a second because, well, I suck and I need to practice. So, uh, yeah. We're gonna do that really quick. How about a new hat? I had to had to wear had to get this hat. I couldn't pass it up. All right, so some of those warm-up shots were kind of rough, but uh, we're going to the first tee now, which is actually number ten. I'll tell you a little bit about these golf balls I'll be using today. You're probably dying to know. Probably not. All right. Okay, so I was, I don't know if you've ever heard of Dixon, but they make golf balls and they are supposedly eco-friendly or like recyclable golf balls. So that's what I'll be playing with today. This is their performance ball. Um, world's first 100% pro performance eco-friendly golf ball. So it's eco-friendly, supposedly recyclable, biodegradable, whatever, I don't really know. It's made in like a, it's packaged in like this recycled cardboard box or whatever. So I found those on Amazon and I was intrigued by them because it's a performance ball. For $80 a dozen. $80 for that dozen golf balls. Now that's $40 more than a dozen Pro V1s, which is, as you know, a premium golf ball as well. So why, why they're $80? I have no idea, but I've done a little bit of playing with them so far I like them but I wanted to get on here and share that with you and see if I can show you guys some tests in case you guys are interested in this golf ball as well it's a good golf ball but I don't know if I would pay $80 consistently for this ball because I do buy a lot of golf balls and I just don't see myself paying $80 a dozen for balls all the time so either way let's get going I'm gonna hit my first tee shot probably won't film it because I got people behind me right now but I just want to let you know that all right, it's super windy. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Hopefully this windscreen is doing its job. We hit our first tee shot right down the center and I don't know exactly, I don't see it yet. There it is right there. I'm gonna open the face a little bit. Just swing easy. I need spin and elevation here to stop it on the green. So I'm just gonna open up the blade, open up my stance just a little bit. Do maybe a three quarter half swing. Oh, it was short. I got wind or something. It landed just on the fringe. It was a little short. Here's my ball, obviously. Got a pretty tight lie, but it's not too bad. And I'm probably not gonna putt it because we got all this grass to go through. So, yeah, there you go. Chip shot it in. Green breaks, breaks a little left, looks like. I'm just aiming a little bit right of the hole and about halfway there, probably about where I'll land it. <laughs> Hit the ball, stupid. As you can tell, I screwed that up.
What a trash hole that was. All right, so that birdie opportunity turned into a bogey real quick. Uh, I, I don't, I don't even have words to describe what just happened there. To be quite honest, I don't really know what happened there. So, all I can say is I screwed up and made a bogey. How's it going? Pretty good, nice scores. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta hit it straight. <laughs> That's the plan. Pushed it. Oh, to be hunting for that one. I think I may have found it. I got one right here in the rough. That is her Dixon right there. All right, so obviously we are not in the fairway. We got a, the hole goes right up here, right up the top of this hill. Uh, right up here. So there you go. And I am down there in that direction somewhere. So my plan is just to take a seven iron and just get it up there. I'm not really worried about advancing the ball too far. I just want to get off of this hill and back into back into play. All right, this ball is actually sitting up pretty good and uh, shouldn't have any problem getting a club on it. So we're just gonna aim, like I said, straight down the center of that fairway. Do it. Pulled it left. Ah. Hopefully that won't be too bad. I pulled it left. I hit it thin. No, sit down, sit, 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 sit. Oh my God. Oh. I got so lucky there. I hit it thin. I thought that was going miles past the flag. There's a left to right breaker here. Or right to left, sorry. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna aim a little bit right and see if we can make it. I made a mistake putting the camera where I did because the the shadow of the camera is actually covering the hole, and I can't really see it that great, but we're going to go for it anyway. I hit it too hard. No! I hit that too hard. Tried to miss that one. All right, so we got a par on that hole. That was a par five. Um, so we are currently one over par due to that bogey on number 10. I have something in my shoe under my foot. Wind is crazy strong right now. My ball is dirty. I got a dirty ball. Came up and out of it. It went right. All right, so I've got literally the wettest lie possible in the fairway, and technically I'll probably get relief from this, but I'm gonna hit it anyway as a challenge. I've got 170. Uphill, there's my shot, and there's the, you can tell it's kind of wet there. So I just got a seven iron, and I'm just gonna try to do the best I can to get it out of that water and uh, see if, I wanna obviously try to get it on the green, that's the ultimate goal but somewhere up there close, I would be happy with. All right, you gotta get ball first. Ball first. Probably gonna get a face full of mud on that shot. Well, I made it. I ended up pulling it left. It went up 
up left to the green there. It made it all the way there though, which was nice. So I was a little bit short. I'm in the rough down here, but even still, it's not too bad. And we got about, I don't know, maybe 20 yards or so, 20, 25 yards, so. I'm not doing a very good job of demonstrating this ball. That was a terrible shot. Looks like this ball is going to break to the right a little bit. I may aim just just outside the left left edge of the hole there. It's going to be pretty quick too. Shouldn't have to hit it too hard. Nailed it. That, my friends, is how you get up and down. I did not hit the best chip shot ever, but uh, that just goes to show that putting will save you. So if everything else in your game is mediocre, as long as your putting is decent, you will score better. So work on your putting, it's important. <laughs> All right, so we were able to find the middle of the fairway. That was probably the best three wood I've hit in a very long time, despite the fact that I had dogs barking in my backswing right behind the tee box. The owner was outside shaking a can of treats, trying to get them inside to quit barking, but it didn't work as you could tell. So it uh, was the ultimate test of concentration. Hit it off the toe, it's probably going to be short. It went down the hill on the left side of the green, so we're going to have to make an uphill chip shot to get up and down for a par, but I suck at golf, so that probably won't happen. Oh, I went right under it. It's coming back to me. Ah, not good. Should be a pretty straightforward putt, but that doesn't mean it's going to be. I'm just going to aim center cup and hope it goes in. Got some wind right now. It looks like it's coming a little bit at us, maybe diagonally from the right over there, coming this way. Um, I'm going to hit an 8 iron at it and hopefully that's enough. Um, my only goal usually on this hole is just to hit the center of the green. So, And also, fun fact, this is actually the hole I got my second hole-in-one ever in my life uh, was, was this hole. And that was, um, I think, Valentine's Day on, in 2017. So it's almost been two years since... Since I got my second hole in one and it was on this this hole haven't gotten one since then but uh seems like I've gotten worse since that day so that's probably why I pushed it no not quite sure if I pushed it or if I was just aimed over to the right but Ah, uh, I missed the green, but that doesn't surprise me. Probably actually a uh, good thing I missed that ball to the right because if that would have been straight at the flag, it probably would have been really long um, because it flew past the flag as it is and I went off to the right. So if I would have gone directly at it, it probably would have been a lot longer and I would have probably been in that tarp over there. So obviously that's not what we want. So we're gonna make a chip shot hopefully and we got to make a par. We got to got to get up and down from for a par from back here. So we'll see what happens. All right, haven't hit a good chip shot all day. So hopefully this is 
this is where I redeem myself. I didn't redeem Jack, but I will say the ball checked up nicely on the green and uh, slowed down pretty quickly, so that's pretty good. I'm taking every positive I can out of this situation because I suck so dang bad. People are driving by me are probably looking at me funny. They're on the road right here. They're probably looking at me wondering why uh, I'm talking to a camera on the golf course, but oh well. Their, their assumptions that I'm crazy are accurate. So, I don't blame them. Keep making it hard on myself to make pars here. I don't know why I keep doing that. All right, this putt's gonna break to the right, so I'm gonna aim just, to, just a hair to the left. Oh, I pushed it, pulled it. Whatever you want to call it. I hit that too hard. Get in the hole! Oh my gosh! You've got to be kidding me. Ah, oh, that's so bad. So bad! Remember what I said earlier about putting? Putting will save you. Uh, yeah. I need to do that. The goal is to hopefully hit a cut around the bend right there. I don't know. All right, so originally my plan was hit a cut around the turn down there. I'm not 100% sure that I need to hit a cut now. I might can just go straight at it with a draw because I think I got enough room between the tree line and the fairway to where it shouldn't be a problem just to hit a draw so that's the new plan we got a headwind once again so that's nice come on fairway come on fairway I pushed it, that's in the trees. We're gonna have to hit a second ball there. Actually, that's a hazard, so we're gonna have to drop down there. There's a creek down there, and that's exactly where I hit it. It's marked hazard. So that means we can get to, we get to drop down there. So that's what we're gonna do. That was not a very good shot, I pushed it. All right, and we're going to drop uh, per new 2019 rules and drop from the knee. It is no longer, you no longer have to drop from a shoulder distance, shoulder height, you can drop from the height of your knee. So we're gonna do that, here we go. I don't know exactly what you're supposed to do is if you're supposed to face any direction, but ain't nothing about my golf game legit anyway. So here we go. All right, don't really see how dropping from the knee really, really changes anything about the drop. Um, the only way I see that it changes anything is if I guess if you're in tall rough and you don't want the ball to sink down super low, obviously dropping it from a shorter distance will help eliminate some of that. Either way, enough talking. I'm gonna hit the shot. Hopefully not back into the trees. Didn't really get a good lie out of this. Gonna have to kind of chop it through that grass, but shouldn't be too bad. I didn't hit it far enough. It's back on the hill. Yay. There it is, right there. I'm really not good at this game. Once again, just getting to the fairway. I don't think I've hit a good shot on this hole yet. I'm still on this hill. I can't get away from it. I just can't do it. I don't know, I don't know, I don't. The quick 
quit. I'm done. I can't. I can't even. That ball went like 30 feet. This hole is killing me, dude. What's up, guys? It's a whole week later after what you just saw. Um, my battery died while I was on the course. So, yeah, here I am putting an ending on this video. Um, I, I, the reason it's so late, I'm, I've, I've waited this long, um, is because I was actually questioning whether or not I should upload this video at all. Um, one, because when I started editing it, before I even had all my footage into the software, it was already 30, over 30 minutes long. Um, so I was like, do, do people really want to watch a 30 minute video? And then I actually ended up going back through it. I was up for, I spent probably three hours on it last night, uh, filtering through it. And I actually trimmed it down to 21 minutes. So there you go. It's 21 minutes, long video, watch it or don't, but I need to put an ending on it. So here I am doing that now. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, uh, enjoyed that. I didn't, it didn't really go as planned as far as testing the ball because I think that was my the whole reason for doing the video I bought this $80 Dixon fire golf ball and I wanted to show you guys what it could do and unfortunately I didn't really uh, show that very well because I didn't play that great um, so it is what it is but I can't do anything about it now so um, also too I was looking at my YouTube stats and 90% of the people watching my videos are not subscribed. So I urge you, please subscribe if you're, if, if you're part of that 90%. Um, I got a goal of 200 subs by the end of this year, so I want to try to hit that before the end of this year. I know it's a small goal, but for me, as inactive as I am on YouTube and inconsistent as I am, if you will, I think that's a pretty obtainable goal for the end of this year. So if you're part of that 90%, please hit the sub button. And if you like this video, hit like. And if you're still watching to this point, then then you're just amazing because this is a 21 minute video and I tend to be pretty boring. So appreciate you watching to the end if you're still here and uh, hit the sub button. I'm gonna stop talking now, see ya.